What is going on guys? Today I am talking about lenses for interviews, kind of this the different look for each lens that you're using. So if you want to jump right into that, if you just want to start seeing what the different lenses look like on full frame and super 35, click to this. You can just, you actually can't click this. It's just graphics, but go to this part in the video. But if you want to kind of hear a bit where my brain was at and why I did this, then I'll talk about that right now. So I don't know about you, but I, I've shot a lot of interviews in my career and I'm sometimes always wondering, okay, what lens should I use in this situation? And, and, and which lenses should I buy or rent or even bring? Sometimes you just don't have enough space in your bag. So I kind of wanted to create the video shot Bible of lenses for interviews. So the way I did this test is I got a 16, 24, 35, 50, 85, and 135 and shot them all in a row, both on full frame and super 35 on my FX9. The first test I did was looking at what these lenses look like if you're always five feet from the subject. Now, when I often do documentary interviews, you're stuck in someone's house or you're in a really ugly office. You're in some space that's small and so it's difficult to know which lenses you wanna use. So I did five feet because that's typically the distance I would shoot an interview. And then my subject, Kim, she's about 10 feet from the background so you can understand the depth. So the camera is about half the distance as she is from the background. And the second test I did was I tried to match the framing size so you could know how much distance you actually have in a room to get a medium shot. So I tried to match the framing so that I was at the top of Kim's head and just below one of the buttons on her jacket. And I matched that frame for the 16, 24, 35, 50, 85, and the 135, both on full frame and cropped S35, Super 35. Now, full disclosure, because of COVID, I couldn't get access to all my prime lenses for this video. Some of them are in rental houses. Some of them I just don't have access to. Some of them are off in a warehouse because I had a flood in my apartment, so we had to pack up everything. So the 85 and 135 mil are actually from zoom lenses. I matched that focal length on those zoom lenses. So they're not true prime lenses, but I wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So without further ado, let's get into this test. So here's the 16 mil full frame. You can see how wide this shot is. Here's the 24 mil full frame. Still same distance, but you can see we're getting tighter already. Here's the 35 mil, even tighter, more shallow depth of field in the background. Here's the 50, now we're getting really blurry in the background, still just five feet from the subject. Now on the 85, you can see how blurry you can barely make out the background. And on the 135 at five feet, pretty much take up the whole entire frame and the background is nothing. And here they all are. This is at full frame, five feet away. So already on Super 35, the 16 mil is cropped in. It kind of looked like the 24 mil did on full frame. Uh, if you want to reference any of these images, I'm going to put a Dropbox link down below so you can compare each focal length and each sensor size so you have an idea of what they look like. And you can reference this before you go on a shoot or you can show a producer or anyone what this looks like. Like, wow, look at that 135 on Super 35, so cropped in at five feet. And here's all of the frame sizes. You can see just the difference between 16 mil and 135 at five feet. And so here's the second test. Again, just a reminder of how I did this. I matched the frame size and then I simply backed the camera up so that it matched that frame size. And I actually ran out of room very quickly in my office. I had to have the camera all the way in the bathroom just to get the same frame size when I was on the 135. So it gives you an idea of how much space that you need if you're gonna be shooting on longer focal lengths. I'm gonna let these tests kind of speak for themselves here as the focal lengths change, but keep an eye in the bottom right corner. You're gonna see the distance from the camera to the subject growing just to keep the same frame size. And what I'm trying to show you here is how far you have to keep the camera from the subject in order to maintain the same frame size the longer the focal length you use. You can see now how far we are getting from the subject. This is six feet or just under six feet for the 50 mil at full frame to get the same size shot when we are on the 16 mil.
So I hope these tips help today. I normally don't do camera tests and all that type of thing in my YouTube world, in, on my YouTube channel, in the YouTube world. That's where I am right now. I can't escape the YouTube world. Also too, there's a Dropbox link below that shows each one of these lenses with the frame size and all the information you need. Because if you ever need to show a producer or a director or even just have reference for yourself what these lenses look like really quickly, this is a great reference guide. So I've included all the screen grabs in that Dropbox link. You can click on that and download them and just have them on your phone so you have a reference of what it looks like on each lens either five feet apart or to know what each lens looks like very far away from the subject. But this was because for me, I shoot a lot of documentary work and I wanna know what lenses I need and it was actually kind of an interesting test for myself. It's also a quick reference guide if you need to show someone what a lens will look like for a particular interview. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned, there'll be more about documentary filmmaking and keep your eyes locked for any more information about my documentary course, which probably releasing in a month or two, but keep letting me know your guys' interest and if there's any subjects that you want me to cover in that documentary course, because I'm still recording it throughout these weeks. But I'll see you guys on the next one.